In our last video, we saw how to pass data from a parent component to a child component uh, using at the rate input directive. In this video, we'll see another method or like another way of passing data from a parent component to a child component. First, let's try to understand like why do you require this, this other way of passing data from the parent to the child when you already have at the rate input. So as you can see here in my code, we are passing uh, user data or like whatever data we are fetching from the API. Here we are fetching some data from the API. We are setting it in the data variable inside our parent component. And we are passing that data to our child components uh, in, in the input directive called users. So when it comes to the particular child components, we are using the input directives that is users here directly in our template files. So here it's not much of an issue because whatever data change, whenever data changes in your parent component, uh, it straight away updates your child component. So, but there may be cases when where you won't be able to directly use the uh, variables and all. Let's say like here, you're getting the data inside a user's variable. But what happens is maybe you want to process this data some, somewhat and maybe then update your child component. So uh, this child component gets updated only once. Other times it won't get updated. So let's say if I'm not directly using the users here, here you can see we are use, use, using this thing. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just modify it a bit. So assume that uh, we are passing it to a data variable. And inside our child component, also we are accepting into like data variable. And users is a separate variable. Now, this setting of this user variable takes place inside the ng on it. So I'm setting like this the dot users equals to whatever we're getting in data. Or let's say we are processing the data some way. Pass data and there we are doing something with this dot data and then we are setting a variable this dot uses. So this needs to be called in the child component this way. Similarly, I also update our new employee. Uh, this also I'll make as data and I'll create another array for uses and inside our ng on and similar to this thing I'll add one more method to pass the data and I'll call this thing okay so now this thing it works initially I guess let's start running the application and see what happens Okay, now let's load the application here. Here, once you load the application, you can see that the dropdowns are empty. Now, the reason for this thing is uh, the child component, it gets loaded before the data is being passed to this component. So we need to add one condition here that using ngf, load it only if we have data and data has some data, has like data, it's a valid data. At that time, you need to load the component. We will add this condition here to both the child components. Okay, so now this thing works fine. We get the data here. Now, the issue that I'm talking is, let's say somehow this drop down data gets updated. So we need to make sure okay, that updated data reaches our child component. So for that, I'll just, I have one button here. So what this thing does is, uh, it calls again, the fetch users method and let's say just for the sake of this tutorial we'll do one thing we'll just double the data on each each button click so, so you you'll see like double data ideally so the, let's lock this thing down this is our data <coughs> Now if I save this thing, you can see, yeah, so now it has a set of data, both these child components. Now I'm clicking this add more button. You can see data count becomes 20, but this thing, it's still 10 only. So that means like 
The data got updated in our parent component, but that updation hasn't yet passed to our child components. So this is the reason why we'll be using this set second method of passing data from a parent component to a child component. And the second method is like we'll be making use of ng on changes uh, lifecycle hook. So let's go to a child component and add the ng, ng on changes on changes here and I'll add ng on changes method here. <coughs> so whatever change happens, we, it get, we, we, we get that updation in this change parameter here. So I'll show you what we get here. Just do console.log param changes changes and this is the new component. So here you can see whenever the data like param gets passed here, this gets updated. So here you can see that the previous value was undefined and the current value is like this. So whenever I click on this thing, if I click on add more, again I get this thing. So the previous value was like 20 and it is like 10. So it got updated, you can see here. So based on that, we can simply update the stuff. So I'll just check if, uh, so as you can see initially also this gets fired, but here it has a value called whether it's a first change or not. So based on that, like we don't need this thing in the first change, right? So we'll just check changes dot uh, first change. Changes dot data dot first change. If it's the first change, if it's not a first change, if it's the first change, we simply return. We don't need to do anything. Otherwise, we'll be loading this dot pass data. And that way, this function will get called and whatever data is inside this dot data will get assigned to this dot users and the drop down will get updated. Let's check it. So now, as you can see here, the drop down has like 10 results. I click on add more data. And if I see here right now, it has like 20 changes now. So now you see that the data got passed uh, from the lifecycle hook. It got updated, right? This way you can use uh, ng on changes to update the data. Similarly, you can also update the other, other component also. I'll just simply copy this thing. Go to all employees. Add it here. Also add it here. Yeah. Okay. I'll just save it. Update and run. So you can see it has like 10 entries. This one also has 10 entries. I'll just simply click on add more data. And you see the data got updated. So I hope you find this video useful. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.